Hi everybody, this is Chichi Readings and today this reading is a love message for you guys um, and these readings that I do are not science specific, they are not for anybody specific. If you want to watch, you can watch. If it resonates, it does. If it doesn't, it is okay. You can watch your sign videos, okay? Um, let's see what's happening in love. Um, for people watching this people who can relate to it okay of course not everybody's gonna relate to it oh okay any messages the death card there is going to be an extended version of this you can check it out in the description box below it is going to be linked okay um in your extended, we're going to have a look at your person more. What are the energies surrounding you both? What is the future of this relationship? Uh, what is the advice from the universe for you? Love notes, all that good stuff is going to be in your extended. So, the death card. Let's see, why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Why is the death card here? Page of Cups. Little do you know. I feel like you are ending things with somebody. For you, you're trying to get over somebody. You're trying to forget about somebody. Because you don't feel loved enough or you didn't feel loved enough in a, in a relationship with somebody. Uh, but there is love coming in for you with that Page of Cups. Look at that. There is love coming in for you. I hope you can see better. Can you see? So there is love coming in for you. Whether you believe or not. Okay. Um, I feel like you don't for the most part. Because you're trying to like. You're trying to forget about somebody. I feel like you're feeling hopeless in your love life right now. But I am here to tell you. You don't need to be feeling hopeless. Because there is love coming in for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Six of Cups with the Page of Pentacles. This looks like somebody from your past is returning. This looks like somebody that you've lost hope that they're going to be back into your life is returning. I feel like the person that you're dealing with, um, they can be a little bit of... Um, they can be somebody who doesn't communicate very honestly. So they don't really tell you how they feel about you right off the bat. Um, but yeah, I just, I just get this energy of love coming in for you. For some reason, I want to see this card. Okay, the moon. So I do feel like you are, is, is you, okay? The moon and the death card is your own energy. Page of Cups is your energy too, but it is looking external to you. Um, I feel like... You're letting go of somebody or you're trying to let go of somebody because you're feeling hopeless. You're feeling sad. You're feeling like the, the one that I want or the thing that I want is not happening in my life. So I better just like leave it behind and move on with my life, right? That's what your energy is like. Um, you're not feeling the most optimistic. I feel like there's somebody or something that you want, but it's not coming in. Or it, has, or it hasn't been coming in. That's why you're feeling hopeless. You're feeling a little bit like... Some of you have had sleepless nights. Or I don't know. You, you've you been thinking about this person a lot. And like... Just like to relieve yourself. You're like... Give yourself a relief. You're like... I need to forget about this and move on with my life. Okay. Let's see. Page of Wands. So guys, uh, this card wants to pop out. So we're going to take it. Ooh, guys, that card really wants to, to pop out for you. So we're getting the Two of Cups, the Page of Wands being the main energy for the reading. Because these are the cards that flipped out on their own, right? I do feel like there is love coming in for you, okay? And it's coming in from somebody that you don't expect to get it from okay unexpected communication 
somebody telling you that they love you, somebody just like coming in towards you. I love it. I feel like with this person, whoever's on your mind, um, it, it feels like a very deep connection. This is somebody coming in towards you to meet you, to see you, okay, to have a union with you. But I will tell you something. As uh, we can see, the cards are a bit positive, right? But there is a twist to it, which is what I'm getting for you. I feel like the person that you're dealing with has a hard time. Like I said before, they have a hard time communicating properly. So even if they come in, don't expect for them to come in with a serious love offer or with like a serious like marriage proposal or something like that. Just expect for them to show up. That's it. Nothing more, nothing less. Ooh, we have the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck for you with the Four of Wands. Um, some of you are married to this person or were. Oh my goodness. I feel like there is somebody coming in towards you. This reading is screaming a reunion. Somebody coming back from the past. Okay. Too many cards flipped out, but we'll see. So in the past, you've had some drama with this person. Things went like downhill, basically, deleting, blocking. And then you gave it some time, but I feel like you patiently waited for this person. Some of you tried to, you know, bring them back into your life. But now that you're giving hope, I feel like this person's going to be back. Let's see. Tell me more about this. Okay, Eight of Wands. Seven of Swords in the reverse. Okay, so there is somebody wanting to communicate with you. This is somebody who got away from you. This is somebody who you haven't been communicating with or whatever the case might be. I feel like this is somebody who... who might have been playing mind games with you so if you have somebody like that in your life that disappeared i see them returning i see communication happening with the eight of ones okay let's see yeah i feel like you're losing hope you've dropped like you feel like you cannot do anything to bring this person back into your life you're losing hope you have given up and i feel like some of you are really sad about whatever happened here in the relationship between you and them yeah your person i feel like they have a habit of holding back okay Yeah, communication seems to be a problem. Okay, what came out for you? The Four of Cups with the Six of Cups and the Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So your person is feeling like there's lack of... Um, your person's feeling disconnected from you. They're feeling like you're not putting as much effort as you used to as well. Because yes, I do see that you've given up and they're also noticing that you've given up. I feel like... Um, this is somebody who, who might have even ignored you in the past. Nine of Pentacles. Um, why is the judgment in the reverse? Yeah, I feel like you want to be in a relationship with this person. You want to marry this person. You want stability, but you just have lost hope that is ever going to happen. I feel like you have a hard time letting go of the idea of this person, okay, or them and you being together. 
I want to tell you something. The person that you're dealing with, <laughs> they have feelings for you. Okay, what we'll, we'll flipped out. Oh, the Hierophant and the Temperance. So people who are watching this reading, I feel like you have love coming in. You have your wish fulfillment coming in, but it's not going to happen when you want it to happen. It's going to happen when God wants it to happen, when it is the right time for it to happen. So even if you want to be in a relationship, it doesn't mean it's going to magically appear in your life just because you want it to, right? Um... I feel like love is coming in for you, but is is coming in when it's supposed to come in. So you cannot rush anything. And I feel like you have tried to make things work with this person. And, you know, you, you have given up because your attempts failed. Okay. They were fail attempts. So you were like, okay, I'm going to just give up. I don't like giving up, but I'll give up on this person. With the Hierophant and the Temperance, this is looking like the energy of... I actually see you being committed to somebody, but I actually see it in the future for you. Like, a little bit far in the future. Commitment is in your life. But it's not happening right now. Some of you really want to be in a relationship right now. Some of you really want to get married right now, but it's not happening right now. And the person that you're dealing with who's coming toward you right now, don't expect much from them. Because they're continuously showing as somebody who likes to stay single, who likes to be independent. They focus a lot on themselves. They have been selfish with you in the past as well. So I wouldn't tell you to get your hopes high. Okay? Just know they will appear. But you have to be careful because this could be somebody who comes in and out of your life a lot. See the tower. I feel like some of you really knew the truth about this person, but you still didn't believe. And yeah, there was a tower moment in this relationship. Uh, things changed between the two of you. Somebody even deleted, blocked you or you did to them. Okay. Tell me more about this nine of pentacles. Ace of cups. There is love coming in for you. There's a love offer coming in. Tell me more about this Ace of Cups in the outcome. Okay, this is coming from somebody who, yes, who walked away from you. This love offer is coming in from somebody who's very guarded up, very focused on themselves. Um... And now they're coming back to see if they still got you. I don't know for what purpose, but it does look like they're coming back in to offer you love. Okay. There's a love offer coming in for you. That is for sure. All right. But there's a lot more than that as well in this reading. I feel like you want truth. You want them to express themselves truly and truthfully to you. Let's pull a final card for the reading. And then we're going to pick up your Romance Angel Oracles. Ace of Swords. Why so? Oh, the devil. It is not even possible that the devil doesn't show up in these love messages. It always shows up. So this is somebody who has a hard time telling the truth. This is somebody that, like I said, you want them to express themselves to you truthfully and honestly, but they don't. They don't. Um, I feel like some of you are really obsessed with this person. Like, I'm not going to lie. You think about this person day and night. But I am going to tell you, you need to open up your eyes more to the situation, okay? I feel like some of you are literally looking at the situation with your rose-colored glasses on. And that's why you disappointed yourself in the past as well. Okay. Okay. 
there is somebody coming in, but I feel like you need to be keeping, you know, you need to be careful and as well as consider your own individual circumstance, whatever, everybody's life, life is different. So gauge the situation according to whatever, it, you know, however it suits you. Um, you know this person better, okay, to respond or not and how to respond is your own choice here, okay? But do feel like they're returning to you, point blank, period. They're coming back in to offer you love and that's it. What is your take on it? Mm -hmm. The rest we're going to see in your extended okay how does your person truly feel about you what are the love notes saying for you what is the oracle card message for you um advice for you generally what are the energies okay in regards to your person what are they up to all that good stuff is going to be in your extended you can check it out in the description box below if you like first card is out and that is free yourself it is time to take back control of your life. The cause says it all. Free yourself from feel, feeling a certain type of way and feeling it again and again. Finances and career. Um, I feel like some of you are trying to focus more on your career. What else? What else? It's the message. Okay. Codependency. Yeah. Some of you could be codependent on this person and that's what they take advantage of maybe. Okay. They know that you're going to be there whenever they want to be back. You're, you're going to be there. You're going to be entertaining them whatsoever. We have got passion at the bottom of the deck. So there is, like, I'm not going to lie, there is a lot of passion between the two of you, but there are other energies as well that you need to keep in mind. And if you're codependent, sort that thing out as well. I feel like, yes, you have handed over your happiness to this person, and when they left, you were devastated. But now they're coming back, and you know what you need to know, okay? Um, yeah, that's about it. So those were the messages that popped out for you as of now. Give this video a like and subscribe to my channel. This is 33 Readings. Check out the extended version in the d description box below. It's about your person. So if you're interested in knowing about them, do check it out, okay? And it also has things for you, like what is the advice for you and stuff like that. So not just your person, okay? Anyway, take care and bye-bye.